Hey guys, today in the shop, we're gonna be starting the chassis work for the short bed conversion on the shop truck. Stay tuned. So it's finally that time. I'm caught up on just about all of my side work and I really want to get ripping on this shop truck. Uh, I want to get this thing done. I mean, it's a drift truck. There's probably going to be no events in New England until the springtime at this point anyway. And who even knows with everything going on in the world, what the spring's going to look like. But I want to get this thing as worked out as I possibly can. That way, once the springtime does come, if everything opens back up and we're ready to roll, the truck is ready to roll. So... The first thing I want to do is uh, I kind of briefly told you guys that the back section on my truck right now is a little bit rotted out like the rest of the truck, but the front half of the chassis is in good shape. So I ended up getting another piece of frame that's in much better shape and it's really not rotted. I mean, some of you Southern guys are going to look at this and say, wow, that is ugly, but this is good for a New England frame, believe it or not. <laughs> but what we got to do is, this came off a short bed truck, um, so we got to cut it right about here. That's where we're going to mount it up to the other truck. So this is the front bed bolt. So we're going to save the front bed bolt location on the original frame, and then we're going to join them together right around here. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that in a little while. I kind of got a trick to, to make sure that the frame matches up on both trucks. So all this is gonna go. And then today we're also going to cut off these hangers. These are the factory spring hangers. We got a DJM suspension set up. It's uh, lowering shackles, dream beams, all the good stuff. I'm gonna talk to you a little more about that later on. Um, so the front hangers have to go. The overload stoppers have to go. And then obviously we're not gonna need a trail hitch anymore. So. That's going to get cut off. Um, I'm going to leave one of these cross members for now because I need something to keep the frame stiff while I'm building all this. But I'm going to end up cutting this cross member out. Spare tire carrier is going. The frame is going to get boxed in a few sections. And I'm going to do some tubular cross members to kind of stiffen it up but also keep some lightweight. But in the meantime, this cross member will stay for now. And then permanently... This cross member is going to stay because this holds the gas tank up. I want to use a factory style gas tank. I don't want to use a fuel cell like some of these guys do, but um, I think that's enough talk. I'm going to get into it. I'm going to get some of this fat trimmed off of this frame. And then once we do that, I'll show you some of the details on how I plan on cutting the frame. You could use the same technique on yours, even if you're already starting with a long bed frame and cutting it down to a short bed frame, this still should work. So let's get right into it.
now that I got that rear frame section cleaned up pretty good, got everything off of it that I kind of want to get off of that, uh, I'm going to start doing this frame cut. So when you shorten or lengthen a frame, some people will say straight cut's fine. I personally don't agree with that. I, I like to do like a, like a notched frame. I think it's, it's a little better. You get multiple directions for the weld. You don't have all the stress in the same point. Either way, we're going to be boxing this chassis and building a couple of cross members and strengthening it all up. But I really want to make sure that we have like a nice little notch on this frame. So I really want to just do this now so I can get rid of all this extra weight on the chassis that is just in my way, makes it harder to move the frame around. Obviously, this thing is going to have to get moved around a little bit more. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to wire wheel the whole thing or have it sandblasted. Not quite sure on that yet, but either way, um, I want to get this frame cut done. So what I came up with is I made this little, I guess, kind of like jig, you could say. And it's just so I can consistently match up the cut that I make on the frame here to the frame on the truck. So like I said earlier, I'm going to use this front bed bolt hole right here for reference. And I'm going to rest this bracket right on the frame. And this top piece will keep this bracket nice and level and it'll line me up on the frame exactly where I want to go. So the only real measurement I need to make is from the front bed bolt, I want to find out where I'm going to cut it. So I think I want to get it as far back as I can and that ends up being, let's see, let's get it to two and a half inches from the bed bolt. Um, if you are just shortening a long bed frame, you're going to make the same cut, but you're going to take 16 and a quarter inches out of the frame. So I'm using a short bed frame already. So it goes right to the bed bolt right here. It's the right length and it's got a drop down. But if you've got a long bed truck that you're converting to a short bed truck and you're using the frame piece you already have, you just make this cut, move it back 16 and a quarter inches on the frame, make the same exact cut, same thing. Use the bed bolt, the front bed bolt as a reference. Um, but I made this bracket shaped like a T here so I can use it on this side of the frame and then I can move it over to the other side of the frame and do the same thing. And then on the other frame, same thing, mark it up. So I'm going to mark this. Then I'm just going to use the plasma cutter. I'm just going to cut way ahead of the notch just to get this heavy weight out of my way and then slowly focus on making sure that I get these cuts as straight and as clean as possible with the plasma cutter. And then uh, once we're done with that, we'll move on to the other stuff. Alright, so we got this frame cut and as you can see, I tried my best to do it as cleanly as possible. Um, so once we get the other frame up, we are going to bevel everything so you get a good, nice good weld on it. But I don't want to do any grinding or cleaning up on this until we get the other, you know, the truck in, the back half cut off the truck and then do all the final fitment that way, you know. Um, I just think that it's good to have just that little bit of extra material on there just for safety sake. That way, if you got to do any kind of grinding or cleaning or massaging to make it all fit, you have the material there. It's always easier to take more off than it is to put it back on. So next up, what I want to do is I want to start taking off things like these overload stoppers, like I said. So we're just going to torch these rivets right off, smash these off the frame, and then the leaf spring hangers. So the reason we're taking these leaf spring hangers off is we got these 
hangers from DJM. So these actually go on the opposite way. They go on the frame this way, facing up, and they have multiple holes so you can adjust the ride height. Um, we want to get this truck as low as possible, but we also want it to sit level. Uh, and the DJM kit is nice because it uses a combination between front hangers and the rear shackles. And the rear shackles for this are actually pretty nice too because those are also adjustable. So you have a couple of options there. I'm gonna do a video in the future coming up real soon with the front suspension. Obviously, I wanted to get this frame section all prepped up and ready to go before we start working on the front, but let's get uh, these brackets torched off, both of them, and we'll get the DJM brackets bolted up. All right, guys, so that's it for tonight. We got the frame all shortened up, cleaned up as much of it as I possibly can for now at least. And I got the DJM lowering kit brackets bolted up. I just bolted them up loosely because most likely I'm gonna send this frame out to be sandblasted. Um, the more and more I look at it, I really don't wanna sit here and wire wheel this thing. I did a little section of it here and took a little while, so most likely I'm gonna send it out, but that's pretty much it. Next step is getting the truck in, getting the frame cut off the back section of the truck, then starting on the, the Dream Beam lowering kit, the front section of it, and uh, that's pretty much it. So really hope you guys like this video. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, maybe give me a subscribe. And uh, I hope to see you soon. Once again, thanks for watching. In the shop.